Welcome to Vice Confidential, the channel that plunges you deep into the chilling recesses of the human psyche. Prepare to embark on a journey into the sinister realm of true crime as we unravel the haunting tale of Pedrinho Matador. This enigmatic figure, born amidst the fields of rural Brazil, will lead us down a twisted path of darkness, revenge, and unimaginable horrors. From his harrowing childhood marked by abuse to his reign of terror within prison walls, the subject of this story will leave you questioning the very nature of evil. Join us as we peel back the layers of this true crime saga, exposing the disturbing truth that lies beneath the surface. This is Vice Confidential where secrets become revelations and the darkest tales are brought into the light. Let's begin. In the dimly lit countryside of Santa Rita do Sapucai, a malevolent force emerged from a weathered farm on a fateful summer night. The year was 1954 when evil took root in the heart of a child named Pedro Rodriguez Filio. Born into a world tainted by violence, his entrance into this twisted realm was marked by tragedy. A damaged skull, the cruel legacy of a father's wrath, he bore witness to the horrors his mother endured during pregnancy, assaulted mercilessly by the very hands that should have protected her. But the atrocities did not end there. Young Rodriguez suffered a childhood marred by torment, a victim of his father's ruthless physical abuse. It was during these dark days that the seeds of malevolence began to sprout within Rodriguez. In the depths of his shattered innocence, he claimed to feel an insidious urge to kill, an intoxicating compulsion that coursed through his veins like venom. At the tender age of 13, he descended further into the abyss, his sinister desires taking shape. With a chilling determination, Rodriguez set his sights on his cousin, a frail figure unsuspecting of the impending doom. In the heart of the sugarcane fields, where secrets whispered among the rustling stalks, Rodriguez executed his diabolical plan. With bated breath, he lured his cousin closer, guiding him towards the monstrous iron jaws of the nearby sugarcane press. In that pivotal moment, the line between life and death blurred as Rodriguez prepared to unleash unfathomable horror upon his unsuspecting kin. But fate, in its enigmatic wisdom, intervened. At the precipice of destruction, Rodriguez hesitated. A flicker of humanity, buried deep within his depraved soul, compelled him to release his grip on malevolence. In a moment of desperate mercy, he pulled his cousin away from the edge of annihilation, sparing him from the grisly fate that awaited. Thus began the dark odyssey of Pedro Rodriguez Filio, a tortured soul entangled in the twisted web of his own malevolence. With each passing day, his hunger for blood grew stronger, his thirst for chaos unquenchable. Little did the world know that this fragile moment of reprieve would be but a fleeting respite before Rodriguez would unleash his true, horrifying potential upon an unsuspecting world. Before we continue, please take a moment to support our channel by liking this video, subscribing, and ringing the bell to receive notifications of all of our upcoming content that is sure to captivate and haunt you to your very core. Now, let's get back to the story. In the darkest recesses of Rodriguez's turbulent teenage years, a chilling tale of retribution and bloodshed unfolded, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. It all began with a damning accusation that shattered his already fragile existence. A venomous cloud of suspicion hung over his father, a disgraced security guard at the local high school in Alfenas, Brazil. The cruel sting of betrayal gnawed at Rodriguez's core when his father was abruptly dismissed from his post accused of pilfering food from the very kitchen he was entrusted to safeguard. It was a theft that would forever change the trajectory of their lives, a catalyst for a sinister dance of vengeance. Enraged by the injustice inflicted upon his father, Rodriguez hatched a malevolent plan, his heart consumed by a wrath so potent it blurred the line between right and wrong. Armed with his grandfather's shotgun, a relic of a bygone era, he stalked the shadows seeking his chosen prey. The vice mayor of Alfenas, the very man responsible for his father's downfall, became the target of Rodriguez's twisted retribution. In a cold and calculated act of violence, the shotgun roared to life, unleashing a deadly storm upon the unsuspecting vice mayor. The echoes of the blast reverberated through the night, forever etching the name Rodriguez into the annals of infamy. A month passed, 
the weight of his actions hanging heavily on Pedro's conscience. Consumed by a relentless pursuit of truth, Rodriguez turned his sights upon another guard at the high school, a man whom he believed to be the true thief. Justice, as Rodriguez saw it, would be delivered with ruthless precision. The city of Sao Paulo became his sanctuary, a twisted haven where he sought solace in the shadows. With each passing night, he prowled the slums, a malevolent specter wreaking havoc upon the unsuspecting residents. Burglaries stained his hands with the blood of the innocent, but it was the killing of a notorious drug dealer that marked the zenith of this ruthless spree. Maria Aparecida Olympia, a woman whose tender embrace offered respite from the torment that plagued his soul, became his confidant and ultimately his fiance. Fate, however, had cruel intentions in store for them both. In a heinous act of savagery, Maria was brutally murdered by gang members, the very criminals who thrived in the shadowy underbelly of Sao Paulo. The unborn child that Rodriguez had hoped would be a beacon of hope was extinguished before it ever took its first breath. Anguish and fury intertwined within his shattered heart as vengeance danced in his vision. A wedding organized by the gang's leader, celebrating a twisted unity, became the stage upon which Rodriguez's malevolence would climax. With his trusted companions by his side, he unleashed a storm of carnage, leaving seven lives extinguished and sixteen souls scarred by unspeakable horrors. Blood stained the sacred vows, forever transforming a joyous occasion into a macabre symphony of death. Months passed, and the relentless tendrils of revenge continued to ensnare Rodriguez's tortured soul. Discovering that his favorite cousin had been impregnated by a callous lover who spurned her pleas for marriage, he descended once more into the abyss of retribution. Without mercy or remorse, he silenced the offender with a fatal gunshot, ensuring that justice, as he saw it, was served. An unfathomable revelation that would shatter the remnants of his fractured existence. Within, the walls of Rodriguez's world crumbled, exposing a grotesque tapestry of his own bloodline. As the secrets of his past unfurled, a harrowing truth emerged. His father, the very source of his torment, was not merely an abusive figure, but a monstrous predator who had committed the ultimate act of depravity. Behind the cold, impenetrable bars of a prison cell, Rodriguez's father had languished, condemned for a crime of unspeakable horror. It was there, within the stifling confines of the penitentiary, that the truth was unveiled. His father had taken a machete to Rodriguez's mother, severing her life and her body with cruel precision. This finding was a sledgehammer to Rodriguez's fragile psyche, shattering the remnants of the son's misguided loyalty. It was a revelation that propelled him on a path paved with retribution and revenge, leading him to the bowels of the prison, face to face with the embodiment of his torment. A maelstrom of emotions churned within Rodriguez as he confronted the man who had conceived him, the very architect of his own torment. Hatred coursed through his veins, fueled by years of suffering and the indomitable desire for justice. With a twisted smirk etched upon his face, Rodriguez plunged a blade into his father's flesh, each stab punctuating a lifetime of pain. The cacophony of screams, and the metallic scent of blood mingled in the air as the once broken son unleashed his wrath upon the shackled figure before him. Blow after blow rained down upon his father's wretched form, a grotesque symphony of violence that echoed the twisted legacy they shared. But Rodriguez's descent into madness did not end there. A darkness born in the mire in which he dwelled consumed him entirely. Driven by an insatiable hunger for power, he reached within his father's chest cavity, seizing the still-beating heart that had nurtured such cruelty. With a savage grin, he sank his teeth into the bloody organ, a grotesque communion that marked the climax of his transformation. In that chilling moment, Rodriguez embraced the very essence of his dark destiny. The sins of his father merged with his own, intertwining like a malevolent dance of shadows. From that day forward, he became a name whispered in hushed tones, a harbinger of doom that lurked within the annals of true crime infamy, Pedrinho Matador. The tale of Rodriguez, a twisted symphony of pain and retribution, would echo through the ages. 
His atrocities, a testament to the depths humanity could descend when consumed by darkness, would forever haunt the minds of those who dared to explore the depths of true crime. For, in the heart of one man's shattered existence, the boundaries of evil were shattered, leaving a scar upon the world that would never fully heal. It was on the fateful day of May 24, 1973, that the long arm of the law finally caught up with Rodriguez. The iron grip of justice closed around him, shackling his once unrestrained fury. As he was transported in the confines of a police vehicle, fate, in its wicked design, placed him alongside another criminal, a rapist whose vile acts had earned him society's scorn. But Rodriguez, in his twisted wisdom, saw an opportunity amidst the chaos. A malevolent smile twisted his lips as he unleashed his wrath upon the unsuspecting rapist, ending his wretched existence in a frenzy of violence. Within the confines of that vehicle, a serial murderer claimed yet another life. The walls of his prison cell failed to contain the storm that raged within Rodriguez's fractured soul. Behind those cold bars, his appetite for destruction thrived, manifesting in a chilling series of killings that stained the very fabric of the penal system. Inmates fell victim to his insidious urges, their lives extinguished one by one. As Rodriguez reveled in the dark ballet of death, motives became twisted and convoluted as he turned upon his fellow criminals. Some were marked for death simply because of their own affiliations with the world he had once thrived in, a killer of criminals, igniting a deep-seated hatred among the majority of the incarcerated population. But Rodriguez, the predator within, was not to be trifled with. In a savage display of defiance, he faced the onslaught of several vengeful inmates, their ambush an attempt to claim his twisted life. Yet, the tables turned, as Rodriguez unleashed his lethal prowess, felling three attackers and leaving two injured in his wake. The walls of the prison bore witness to the macabre dance of survival and retribution, a testament to the darkness that consumed him. No life, it seemed, was spared from Rodriguez's insatiable appetite for bloodshed. Victims were chosen at random, their fate sealed by the whims of a remorseless killer. Even a cellmate, a career criminal whose only crime was the symphony of snores that disrupted Rodriguez's twisted slumber, met his untimely demise at the hands of his deranged companion. The thrill of extinguishing the lives of fellow criminals, according to Rodriguez, was an intoxicating elixir, a sweet nectar that pulsed through his veins. The boundaries of right and wrong blurred into insignificance as the body count rose, each life lost a testament to the depths of his depravity. Yet, as the years wore on, the prospect of release loomed on the horizon. The prison doors nearly swung open for Rodriguez in 2003, but the ghosts of his past crimes within the prison walls cast a dark shadow over his freedom. The request for release was denied, sealing his fate within the confines of his personal hell. It wasn't until four years later that he was given a brief reprieve. Then, on that ill-fated day of September 15, 2011, the cycle of captivity repeated itself. Arrested once more, this time for riot and false imprisonment, Rodriguez found himself torn from the tenuous grasp of freedom. The motivation that had fueled his desire for release, a girlfriend waiting beyond the prison walls, dissolved into mere dust. Justice, albeit belatedly, made its final stand. Rodriguez was sentenced to a staggering 128 years in prison, the weight of his crimes finally catching up to him. The aftermath of Rodriguez's twisted saga took a startling turn, as the intricate web of Brazil's legal system conspired to grant him an unexpected taste of freedom. The repeal of the decree that held diagnosed psychopaths indefinitely shackled opened a pathway for his release. In 2018, Rodriguez emerged from the prison's cold embrace, a free man once more. However, the lingering specter of his crimes refused to dissipate. Rodriguez, a cunning master of manipulation, seized upon the newfound platform that technology provided. He delved into the world of YouTube creating a channel where he regaled his audience with chilling tales of his heinous experiences. A disturbing tapestry of his dark past unfolded with each video, garnering morbid fascination from those who dared to engage with his twisted narrative. Unbeknownst to him, 
His own story became the catalyst for a work of fiction that would send shockwaves through the literary and entertainment realms. Jeff Lindsay, inspired by the enigma of Rodriguez's life, penned the now iconic Dexter novel, the subsequent television series bearing the same name, introducing them to a forensic blood spatter analyst who moonlighted as a vigilante, hunting down and dispatching other killers. The parallels between Rodriguez's true tale and the fictional world of Dexter Morgan were impossible to ignore. Yet, as the years rolled on, Rodriguez's existence remained shrouded in darkness. The shadows that had shaped his life would not release their hold. On the fateful day of March 5th, 2023, the curtain fell on Rodriguez's grim narrative in a hail of bullets. Two men, their faces hidden behind the anonymity of the car's windows, unleashed a flurry of gunfire upon him. The echoes of their malevolence reverberated through the air as they fled the scene in a separate vehicle, leaving behind a lifeless body. The identity of the assailants remained elusive, their motives concealed within the labyrinth of a crime that would forever go unsolved. The streets whispered their secrets, but justice remained out of reach. No suspects were apprehended leaving Rodriguez's demise to drift into the annals of unsolved true crime cases. A chilling reminder of the frailty of existence and the darkness that can lurk within the human soul. As we bid farewell to the unsettling chronicles of Pedrinho Matador, a shroud of unease lingers in the air. His story, a testament to the depths of human depravity, serves as a stark reminder of the twisted forces that can shape a life. Through the darkness and the bloodshed, we have ventured into the heart of true crime, confronting the demons that dwell within the shadows. Let us carry with us the lessons learned from this harrowing journey, forever vigilant against the encroaching darkness that threatens our world. As Vice Confidential continues to unearth the secrets of the macabre, remember to keep your eyes open and your mind sharp. Stay tuned for more tales that will both captivate and haunt you. Until then, see you on the other side.